Hello folks, welcome back to my channel Rise with Richie. I hope you are safe and well today. My name is Richard D'Souza and I make content about motorcycles, motorcycle travel, accessories and maintenance. This is my 2014 model year Yamaha Super Tenere XT 1200Z and today we are going to replace the stock Yamaha top box mounting bracket with this beautiful GV Monokey top box mounting bracket. The reason why am I going to change this is I don't like the Yamaha top box which came along with the bike. As uh, you guys know, the mechanism on the top box as well as the side cases is rubbish. As well as the top box rattles a lot. The top box size itself is substantially smaller than the 42 liter GV Monokey top box which I have. And one more reason is when your when a pillion is sitting on the bike the top box feels very very small and very unstable so if somebody is leaning over it feels like the top box is gonna get uh, snapped off this mounting bracket and it makes a lot of noise when you're riding around in the country roads over here in ireland which i don't like at all so without wasting any more time let's go ahead and change this mounting bracket to the gv1 and uh, I will show you exactly how to do it. So I will show you what all comes with the box. I'll attach a picture over here. It comes with the mounting screws, the instructions, as well as this particular plate itself. So let's crack on with it and I will show you exactly how to do this procedure. Uh, so as you can see over here, there are a few bolts which have to be taken out. So we have a few sockets which we need. So we have the number five socket for this bolt over here and then we have number six socket for these two bolts over here and there are two hidden bolts on this side as well in the corner so we need to take them out as well so let's start I will start with the number five ones first and you need an extension just to get to these bolts over here so let me do that as well they are quite lengthy bolts though it's a long procedure of turning them if you have a screw gun I think that will be much faster I have one but I'm not using it right now so now this plate has come off and uh, I will show you exactly how to mount and what comes in the package. There is this, there are these long kind of spacer and then there are two of the small ones. And then there is one more small one over here. So we have these two long bolts with thread only in the bottom over here. We have two of these long bolts with thread all the way. I hope it focuses. Yeah, these two long bolts with thread all the way. This one smaller bolt and three of these washers. And then I'm going to use Loctite on all of them so that it is well secured and it doesn't come off. This one will go back on top over here and the rest of the mounting bolts will go on top of this. So now let's begin the action of putting back everything together. So, first thing first, we have to mount this long screw with the thread only in the bottom with this particular long spacer holding this particular bracket like this and this bracket will go on top with the long spacer underneath. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, uh, let me support this with my tummy. I'm going to put some Loctite in the bottom over here put this away so we have to slide it through this hole over here and this one goes in here I hope you guys can see it this goes like this through this and oh did I miss a washer or something we have to put a washer in here as well all right so so we need to put a washer in as well guys so Let's repeat it again. Screw washer goes through this one. This one goes here. Hold it. This one goes here. 
and then this one goes in here. I hope everything gets aligned now. Hmm. It's working. I'm not going to tighten it fully because we need to put this in place as well. Once again, the second long screw with the thread in the bottom, washer in here, some Loctite on top. Oh, there's too much Loctite. I'll keep some spare. And uh, so, yeah, Loctite in there. And put the, this thing over here, put this on top. And uh, screw that in. That second one done. And then two more. These ones go over here. So I'm going to lift this bracket. So this one is going underneath over here, like so. I'm going to let it rest there for now. Yep. In place, two of the long screws with the threads on them. Some Loctite over here. And boom, here it goes. So the last one now for this one, we need to put the washer underneath. So I'm going to place the washer in place first. And then put the small spacer, some Loctite in my hand. I'm going to use some more Loctite in here and put the spacer in place. Oh. Yep. Always finger tight first so that you don't destroy the threads. Looks like I'm in game. Okay, let's. So now we need 5 mm. We don't need this one. I can just do it with small thingy. Let's start tightening all of them. First one. Last one. That's it there, folks. It's done. Looks very sturdy. Let me check once again if everything is tight enough. That's it. That's done. I'm going to get my back box now, put it on top and see how it looks. That looks much better. Let me take out the camera and show you. Look at that. Very sturdy, it's not going to go anywhere. It looks substantially bigger than the OEM Yamaha top box. And it's much sturdy as well. And this, there is a backrest as well over here, which I've added. Uh, when Jennifer goes with me on the trips, she's going to definitely enjoy the comfort of leaning onto this one. So, that's how it looks. So, this is how the mounting bracket looks on Yamaha Super Tenere. It looks much better and much substantial than the OEM which is underneath over here. Looks very nice. And uh, this is definitely going to give me more protection from the road grime which is flying from the back wheel onto the seat. As you can see, there is mud on the seat. I live in Irish countryside and there is a lot of mud. So that's how it looks. So I hope this will give me a bit more protection because look, all the holes are kind of covered. So hopefully it will work for better for me. Looks nice anyways. So that is it for today, folks. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, installation video. In case if you have liked it, please do not forget to give me a like and uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, today is a very big day for me because I just reached 1,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you for subscribing and uh, watching my videos. In case if you are here for the first time, please uh, do subscribe and leave me a like and comment. It helps to grow my channel and uh, motivates me to make more videos like this. Thank you very much. Uh, this is spring in Ireland right now and uh, I will be making more content in summer. We are planning some road trips as well and uh, I will be making some few motor vlog videos as well. Thank you very much and uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.